it's always their fault. They're the reason why we're out here robbing and deleting old retired men. They're the reason why our elders are scared of us. You know, you can never put responsibility on us. Let me play this audio for y'all. Another day, another day, another day in our community. Stuff that we want to ignore. You know, the elephant in the room that can't nobody talk about. Let's just play this audio and video. And of course, I'll give my thoughts through it. Fair use as always of a retired Chicago police officer. The suspect just 16 years old. Casey Cronus is live tonight at police headquarters. Casey. And John and Scott, we are learning tonight that Larry Newman's very last moments were spent as a hero. More on that coming up. But first, the teenager who turned himself into police yesterday has been charged as an adult with felony first degree murder. Thank you. Thank you to the state of Illinois. No, he don't need to be charged as a juvenile. Let's keep going. Officials tell us that after releasing surveillance video of the suspects over the weekend, they were flooded with tips that led them to identify that 16 year old. And not long after he surrendered to police. Take a look. That suspect is pictured on the look right at of your look at screen these. with white stripes on his. Look at these people. You can tell they just they just walking around for no reason, you know, aimlessly. When these when these two young young black men could be going to the service or something. and he will appear in court tomorrow morning on the left in this image wearing all black is the suspect police are still looking for. And tonight we're learning more about what happened the morning of Larry Newman's murder. Detectives say Newman who where's Black Lives Matter for this in West Garfield Park was outside paying a worker who'd been hired to cut his grass. That's when he saw two young men approaching him with guns. Police say Newman heroically pushed the worker out of harm's way and pulled out his own firearm. Gunfire erupted and Newman was shot multiple times. He was a U.S. Marine veteran and CPD's longest serving bomb technician. This man served in the United States Marine Corps. And to go out like this, and he's 73, so he more than likely fought in Vietnam or was around that time. All the man was all, all the man was trying to do was pay somebody to cut his grass. And you got these you got these two young black men out here. I gotta be careful what I'm about to say. You got these two young black men out here, young black kids to a degree, walking around, no direction. They not in no boys and girls club, they not playing no AAU ball, they not in somebody's library. They walk around with weapons on them, finding a victim. But yeah, y'all want me to feel sorry for these people. Let me keep going. And mind you, not only did this man serve his country, but he also served for Chicago Police Department. And like they said, he was the longest tenured person to work with bomb. So not only is he protecting y'all, but he served your country. In his retirement years, he continued a lifetime of serving others, working for the TSA, training bomb techs at Midway and O'Hare, and becoming a minister at, in his West Side neighborhood. And this is another hard thing. Y'all love, y'all say y'all love church. Y'all love, you know, y'all know, y'all know, we, wanna, we gotta pray about everything. How do you go to church and pray? Your grandsons and kids is out here being complete savages to the community vermin to the community terrorizing to the community vietnam just didn't end over there it came over to the south side and west side of chicago to philly to new york to milwaukee he worked with young people to create a safe environment for them larry worked to bring peace to his neighborhood to show our young people that there is a better way in a brazen and senseless act of violence Larry's life was taken from him by the very people he committed his life to help. And that's a double entendre, but let me keep going. St. Michael Missionary Baptist Church, where Newman served as a minister in his retirement years, released a statement writing that they are thankful one of the teens has turned himself in, but added, quote, our joy is tempered by the somber reality that another young life is now entangled in the judicial system instead of flourishing in an institution of higher learning. Un this is my home state, so this breaks my heart. However, they're going to have to sit down for a while. Y'all going to have to do 60 I believe first degree charges, murder charges up there is at least mandatory 60 years every day. I got people in my family and friends and people I grew up with that's doing that kind of time. Y'all going to have to do 60 years. Y'all going to have to do 60 years. I don't want to hear no sorrow. I don't want to hear no empathy because you should have been doing something more productive with your life. 
and that goes back to the community and the pain. Y'all have failed these young black men. More than likely, they probably didn't have their fathers in their life or their mothers couldn't control them and they don't want to listen. Then you need to put them in some program. But that's the problem. You can't say nothing because we parents are too busy trying to be friends with their kids instead of parents. And it costs a, a, a older elder. This man then this man grew up in segregation. He grew up in segregation. He served in the United States military. He came home and still served his community. And those same people, those same people ended up deleting this man. And the problem is we have no respect no more for our elders in our community. When I was growing up, Miss Johnson still sold candy and she was 90 years old and nobody would harass her. Now, these young people out here is targeting these older elders that look like us in our community. It's so out of control that now people have bars on their windows in our community but it's somebody else's fault it's somebody else's fault we always want to play victim and put the blame on everybody else no 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 that community failed these two young black men their parents failed these two young black men their friends failed these two young black men because i guarantee you that they circle was not no scholars in our community it's cool to be in the streets than it is to be at the library but y'all, y'all got iPhones. You you think Steve Jobs and all these other people was, was out here in the streets? No, no, no. We got this sickness in us that we got to get rid of. And guess what? They going to have to do some hard time. I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for these two young teens. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree again? Am I tripping? Am I just the old head on here? Tell me what.